Hello. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Let me introduce myself. My name is Mutton Chop Piper. As you can see, I have the mutton chops. I've got the pipe. I wanted to inform you of a video series that I'm about to embark on. This video series will be called The Art of Pipe Smoking. Because I feel it really truly is an art. Because in my opinion, each pipe is a work of art. You have a man or a team of men and women that labor to chip away at briar wood or some other medium and produce a beautiful piece of art that we get to hold in our hands every day and smoke tobacco out of. Now this video series is going to be a complete series of A to Z of how to smoke a pipe. A being, what is the first tobacco pipe I should purchase? And Z being, what is the proper way to do a deep cleaning on my pipes? In between there, there'll be subjects such as, how should I pack my pipe? How should I light my pipe? Is there any references out there that I can purchase that will give me more information on the hobby of pipe smoking? Now, I've gone online and I've gone on YouTube and there's a spattering here and there of this person explains how to pack a pipe, this person explains how to light a pipe, but I could not find a complete series to teach you from the very beginning the very end how to get full enjoyment out of smoking a tobacco pipe. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 53 and I started smoking a pipe when I was 16. Why did I start smoking a tobacco pipe? Well it's probably because of the same reasons that you started smoking. I read The Lord of the Rings <clears throat> and in, in, in it intrigued me how enjoyable it was for those characters to smoke a tobacco pipe. So, thusly, I was intrigued. So, I went to our local mall where there was a tobacconist. And after school, I would go in every day and bug him about, do you need help? Can I help you in any way? Finally, the owner relented and hired me. My job at the time was to sweep the floors, clean the shelves, clean the tobacco jars, things like that. After two weeks, I got my first paycheck and I asked in lieu of my paycheck if I could have a tobacco pipe and they agreed. So thus started my great adventure. And that's what it was and it's what it is still today, an adventure. Although I may know how to smoke a tobacco pipe, there are tons and tons of tobacco out there. Different brands, different leaves, different types, that it's almost endless. That you can smoke in your tobacco pipe and find that perfect smoke. At least that's what I call it, the perfect smoke. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First, we need to teach you the proper way and the things that you need to know to properly smoke your pipe and more than that the upkeep of your pipe. Now at one time I was a tobacconist. Back in 2001 and two, two, 2001 and 2 I worked at a place in Lexington, Kentucky by the name of Schwab's Pipes and Stuff. It was a wonderful job and I hated to give it up, but it was a part-time job. My full-time job was requiring more time of me because we had a plan expansion and they needed me more weekends and I felt that Schwab's needed someone that could give them more attention than I could, so I left. I'm hoping one day to get back to Schwab's 
and resume my duties as a tobacconist. Well, that's about it for now. I just wanted to give you an idea of what the videos are going to be like coming up. And I hope that you tune in. If you like this video, I'd appreciate that you give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to uh, join my channel, uh, please do so. Uh, until then, until the next video, uh, I want to wish everyone out there happy piping.